today we are taking a look at 10 different hero section layouts that you can steal for your own website. Later in this video, I'll be revealing a really big web design trend that a lot of people are talking about at the moment. So make sure that you stick around for that. To get started, we'll take a look at the most common layout and that's probably because it's one of the best layouts for conversion. It's my go-to Al Classico and it never really lets you down. It can become dull, so we don't want to pull this out for every web design project. A slight variation of this is to shift the image off canvas. This particular example works really well with the faint grid lines and perfect white space between each element. I love this touch with the background color behind the image. It creates a lot of dimension and brings attention to the hamburger menu. This next layout has the header and call to action in the middle. This can be a difficult design to pull off as you would need the right elements surrounding the focal point. However, this does place a lot of emphasis on anything you place in the center. I feel like you can really pack a punch with this layout, but make sure that this imagery is in touch with the message that you want to convey or this layout won't really come together for you. This is a slight variation of the previous layout and usually we're told not to design like this. Just slapping this bang, center, all that space around. However, allowing this portion of the image over here to creep in above the fold is what makes this composition more interesting. I've seen a lot of companies do this recently, including ClickUp. ClickUp has this one message on the screen and it's very clear what they want you to do. And I guess it worked because I'm actually a ClickUp user myself. However, I quite like this design because it's subtle. They say one app to replace them all. And usually you would have imagery of all of these tasks and features in the background but ClickUp has done away with everything and left it clean, just as their messaging suggests. Get rid of everything. Here is this one app that's going to replace it all. So this is just a really great example of the message tying in with the design. I came across this really great website with the same design idea. However, the messaging combined with the mobile phone falls flat for me. I'm not sure what they're about and this headline actually confused me. I had to scroll far down the page to realize what they do. It's a pity because the design itself is beautiful, but this is a good example of how important it is to consider the intent behind the design and what you're trying to convey. So this section is called the bento grid and it's named after the Japanese lunchbox called bento boxes. It's a really good way to place a large amount of information into a small amount of space. Just like the bento box, a bento grid divides a design space into distinct compartments or sections, giving the design an aesthetic appeal. I especially like the way this brought attention to their call to action over here. This website turned their case studies and projects into a filing system. You have to appreciate the creativity of this. And I like the way they've actually used a classic two column layout over here, but really balanced the layout with color and contrast. And of course, Bento is a great fit for home automation website. It looks like you're in the app, making it feel like you have control over every little thing in the space. We're also seeing this style coming through in e-commerce websites. Apple has been using variations of the Bento grid. We are definitely going to see a lot more of this going into the new year. Although it may be a very attractive design trend, it also has its downfalls. There's a lot happening in some of these designs. And if you don't know how to direct the user's attention, this design can become very overwhelming and could definitely hurt your conversion rate. So it's really important to understand design principles such as hierarchy and color theory to get that perfect balance in your design. So this layout is one of my go-tos and it has been for a while now. I'm a big fan of having a title and call to action above the image. This works well for many types of websites and always creates this clean, crisp feel. MailChimp has done it over here. No frills though, a simple design. Here is an example of a really impactful design as it illustrates the importance of 
typography and font pairings within the hero section. I created this concept over here and you can see I'm using the same concept at the top here but I did combine it with a bit of Bento Grid influence. Over here we have a slight variation of the previous layout with additional info on either side and a centered image. This works really great in this section. This layout is the other way around with the image at the top and the text at the bottom. Over here we have a headline that is at the top and the bottom and you can see that the bento influence is creeping in here as well. Notice the balance in the design. The user will usually read from left to right. I prefer the feel of the second option though with the big typography sitting right at the top of the fold, it really makes you want to scroll down further. And my last hero section is a classic background image with the text placed on the top. When using this layout, it's important to ensure that your text and call to action is very clear. Over here, part of the image has been blackened out for readability. This also places emphasis on the part of the image that would be accentuated. Note the colors in the image match the brand. Okay, so that's 10 great hero section layouts that you can use in your next design.